Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create an atomic bomb 3D models by using the Blender 3.6. And now you can see I already successfully created an atomic bomb 3D models in Blender 3.6. Start from now, I'm going to show you the step by steps how to do this, how to make this, and finally export as FBX so that you can use these 3D models in any other 3D modeling software, 3D animation software, any game engines like Unreal Engine, iClones, etc. like Maya. Alright, so start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. So the Blender 3.6, I'm going to just start a new general project. The first step, of course, I'm going to press A and press delete to delete everything from the scene. Next, I'm going to just click add a mesh, sorry, add mesh UV sphere. All right. Now, I'm going to move this UV sphere up. I'm pressing G. Now, after I press G, now you can see I can move the location. Then I press G to move it up like this. All right. Now, it tastes at here. I press G to move it up again. I press G. Right now, next, I click negative Y. You can see negative Y is here. I click it so that now I only look at the X and G plane. Then I go to the wireframe mode. Next, I go to the edit mode. Then, now, this is chosen, the vertices mode, the, vertex, the vertex select mode is activated. Now, I'm going to just left half of the UV sphere, and I'm going to remove half of it. I just select in this way, then I press delete button, delete all of the vertices. Now, it, it only left half of it, then I turn on the sh viewport shading to display. Okay, now, you can see this is just a half circle. Next, we are going to create the body of the atomic bomb. So now I switch to select the edges. I click the first edge, then I hold the control, click the rest like this, it is going to select select until you can see all of the edges selected at the bottom. Then I right click it, new faces from the edge. Next, I click this to select any of the face. Now, this is the face selection, I select the bottom. Next, I press E to extrude it out. This is to create the body of the atomic bomb. So always find the references like this. Next, next I'm going to press E to extrude. And then I press S to make it smaller like this. Then I press E to extrude again. So if I, if I click here, then I can just Manipulate the size. So look at the reference again here, this part. Right. Next, I'm going to create a create create a cube. So direct in edit modes, I go to the add to add a cube. Right. This cube, I'm going to make it smaller. I just push it up first. And then, I choose this to rescale it. This is the bottom of the atomic bulb. I, I press S to make it smaller. Just like this. I, I just make it up and make sure at the bottom do not come out. So now, done. What's done already? Next, 
I click this so that I can select the, this face. Of course, if I want to select the whole cube, I can move my mouse cursor on the cube and press L. It is going to select the whole cube. Ctrl Z is to undo. So next, I click this to select the face. The top of the cube, I press delete button to delete the faces. Then the bottom, also the same, I press the button to delete the faces. Next, we are going to connect. We are going to connect this part. Alright, look at the reference again. This part is not too long. So we still have the chance to just make it shorter. So I click the bottom, I move it up. Then, it is getting, getting shorter. So, next I move my mouse cursor on the cube, I press L, to select the whole cube. So now, next, we are going to connect, connect this cube with the atomic bomb's tail. Now we have a look again, it is connected, so, actually, I can just select it. I, I click here so that I can choose the edges. First, look at the adjacent, look at the corner, like this. So I select this point, I click and select. Next, I hold the shift to select this point, then the bottom here, wait. Click, hold the shift. Always hold the shift, then you can select all of this. Then, I right-click it. New edges faces from the vertices, like this. Now you can see it, it already connected. Next, do the same at other. I click this, hold the shift, click. Hold the shift, click, and click again. I right-click, new edges. Done. So now only left. Two, click, hold shift, then still holding the shift, select it, then hold the shift, click, right click it, new edge face from vertices, done. Next, click, hold the shift, click, then hold the shift, click, click, right click, new edges. Now the whole 3D model is already done, then the next step, we just back to the object modes. Then, just move it down like this. And then I press S to make it small. Why I want to make it small? Always remember in Blender, for each of the grid, it is 1 meter times 1 meter. So I make it small. I press S to make it small like this. So now this is exactly the scale of the atomic bomb. It is about a human size and this is one meters times one meter. So once done already, you have to make sure you click and press Ctrl A, then select all transform. And then of course, you can turn on the texture. Now the material, this is a white color. Go to the material, you can change the color by clicking here and choose choose a color. So for me, I'm going to tense it to make it become gray because the atomic bomb, it is about gray color. But this is just up to you as long as you can create the 3D model. So next, I press Ctrl S to save the Blender project file. I'm going to name this as Atomic Bomb 02. I press save, save the blend file, and it is on my desktop. Next, I'm going to export as FBX. I click File, Export FBX. The path mode always choose Copy, then activate this, then click Export FBX. Then you can see now the Atomic Bomb 02 already exported as FBX. You can use it in any other software 
any other 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game dev software like the Unreal Engine, iClones, Unity, etc. Right. So now this is getting too dark. I, I can just reach, reset the color. I go to the material, the base color, just make it brighter like this. It will be better. Control S to save it. Then click File, Export, FBX, the Atomic Bomb Zero 2, the Path Mode Copy, and click Export FBX. Now we, ha we have to check the Atomic Bomb Zero 2. Now this is exactly the Atomic Bomb that you can use the 3D modeling skill that's recommended by me. Follow these tutorials and then you can create your own 3D models. Right, that's all for today about how to create a 3D models of the atomic bomb in Blender 3.6. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharing, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials or sharing, you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation and 3D game developing. See you!